What's going on? It's Sean from Barbell Build Body, and today we're talking about how you or why you can't bench with your lats. Sorry, the lats are just not a prime mover in the bench press. So I'm going to link an article. I wrote an article a couple weeks ago. If you're interested in diving through the research and reading uh, that, uh, I go through all the, the studies that deal with bench press and muscle activation. Uh, so go ahead and look at that uh, if you're interested. If not, we're going to go over it right now. Um, Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, real quick, I just want to touch on lat anatomy. Uh, and the, the lats basically run the entire back, run up, uh, touch the bottom of the scapula, and then insert in the humerus. So responsible for three things, uh, internal rotation of the shoulder, adduction of the shoulder and extension of the shoulder. So going this way. So only in during the bench press, sure, you have some extension like this. You're not pulling the bar down. And anyone who says to pull the bar down to your chest, that's, I understand what they're talking about. You wanna maintain force in the back. I don't think that's the best cue to do that. Uh, but regardless, so the only way to increase and make the lats useful as far as basically try and get them to a prime mover, they're never going to be there, uh, is when you have your bench press have more shoulder adduction. So instead of coming down basically flexion or extension and then flexion uh, at the shoulder joint is if you can make it look more like ab abduction and adduction. So how do you do that? You take either a super wide grip and, you, or sorry, not not and or, you have to have both a super wide grip and you have to have a massive uh, decline or uh, arch bench arch. So in the research, uh, there's two things that happen. When you take a wide grip and you do a decline press, you actually do increase lat activation. It's still not to levels that would limit your max press. And you also have an increase in strength. Now, the reason for that is probably most likely, in my opinion, the shortened range of motion, the same way when you have a massive bench arch, short range of motion, you obviously don't get your uh, limbs into a more stretched position, meaning you have better force uh, production and therefore a stronger bench. So uh, I wanna show you what it looks like though and how uh, a normal bench press, we're gonna look at the shoulder angle. It stays the same, right? It's right about here, comes down, uh, but when you do a wide grip mega arch, uh, you can maybe, you can increase activation a little bit. So we'll jump into it. I'm gonna show an angle uh, above angle and talk you through it with some light weights. And then I'm gonna throw up uh, a couple videos of me doing some heavier presses. I think I have 295 and 315. Uh, and that way you can see exactly what I'm talking about uh, with uh, okay. normal load. So I've got 135 on the bar. The only time that you can pop, that you can really has been shown to increase activation or have the highest level of lat activation. And it was still only about, I think, 60% of maximal voluntary contraction. So it's still relatively low. Is if you take a wide grip, so I got right now, ring to ring, we're at 81 centimeters. I actually think this bar is a little bit wider than that. I don't think it's accurate. But either way, wide grip, as wide as you can in powerlifting. And I take a massive bench arch. Now I'm going to keep my butt off the bench because I don't have a massive arch. <laughs> my, I can't get into that much back extension. Uh, so I'm just going to show you by standing on my tiptoes that if I can wide grip, and now you can see as I come down, that movement looks slightly more at my shoulder joint. As you can see, it's kind of coming closer this way. It's still not identical. Um, but that's the only way you can increase lat activation. I wanted to go to a video, a couple of videos of me pressing. This is 315 wide grip. As you can see, I don't have a huge bench arch, but look at that shoulder angle. It looks like, you know, it's not, there's no way on the backside that the lats can really be possible looking at that movement. Um, and then here, uh, once again, so I have a close grip now, uh, so it's a couple inches in. I'm doing sets of eight, this is 295. Uh, but look at the movement. I mean, my arms, it's clearly uh, flexion extension to horizontal uh, adduction or abduction. Uh, and then this is the same thing as 295, just a different angle. Uh, but look at that arm. I mean, it looks nothing like uh, something like we said, that adduction that would uh, highly activate the lats, um, at least in you know that pressing movement. Bottom line is you can't bench with your lats. Uh, this whole anomaly of 
of, you know, bench with your lats. I understand what you're trying to feel, what you're trying to cue, uh, but it's, it's just not the reality. The lats are an assistant uh, or a synergist uh, muscle. Uh, they help with stabilization of the scapula and I believe in maintaining, in my opinion, where I think they're two most important uh, things for the lats is one, maintaining tension in the back um, for that support and stiffness uh, because they are so large and cover the back. Two, uh, scapula stabilization. They do touch uh, the bottom of uh, the scapula. So I think possibly some scapula stabilization and back tension, that's where the lats play a role. Uh, but the bottom line is they're not significantly contributing uh, to your bench press. Uh, they're not a limiting factor. Uh, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, you have any comments, uh, if you have any ideas for videos that you want maybe in the future for me to address, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.